when we think about optimization, the first thing that I want to mention is this systemology process is a linear process. And it's hard for me to deliver. I delivered everything all in one go today, but this really is to just give you an overview. You know, now know, but just start at step one. Certain steps you will move through quicker than others. Some of the businesses that are more established, you might go, we've already got the first three or four steps down. Let's jump straight to the integration phase. Or maybe you just move through them a little bit quicker. If you're just getting started and you don't have any systems in place, well, start all the way back at the start and just go through each one. Don't approach optimization until you have your critical client flow, version one systems down, your scale ready systems down. Both of those need to be in place before I think you should start optimizing. The reason we do that is to get a, a baseline. Um, if you've got a dashboard and you're looking at numbers or a scorecard to give you a pulse on what's going on in your business, if everybody's doing things a little bit differently, then your numbers aren't really going to mean that much because you'll have outliers of you know, people pulling the numbers up one end of the spectrum and you might have other numbers pulling it down to the other end of the spectrum. By having systems and processes, everybody starts doing the same thing the same way and then we can go, hey, our sales process gives us a conversion rate of 30% and everybody's following the same sales process, now we can actually optimise because we know everybody's doing the same thing. Now if we make a change to the system or the process, the improvement that we see in the numbers means something. So that's, that's why we, we need that baseline in place.